All right, guys. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. Today, our topic is very important, and it's exploring actually the nature of the cult of Islam. Uh, we always we hear that Muslims they speak that they believe in Jesus, and actually, uh, um, always we encounter Muslims trying even to use uh, verses from the Bible to make Muhammad a prophet. Uh, actually, uh, I just saw in the text uh, a Muslim, a Muhammadan, he posted this. Uh, his name is Fakir Muhammad Shahrazad. Uh, look like he is uh, Afghani or Iranian. CP, explain please uh, Psalm 84 6, Bekka or Mecca, please. Uh, here you notice that Muslims always they have an agenda and the agenda is to use who was exist before them to prove them to make it simple for you why a muslim he need me to explain some what he have to do with some because the quran claim that there's many messengers and prophets who they are exist in the bible they are islamic too but why muhammad he did that it's just to give himself a credit like a creation to be accredited by you to 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 accept him how he can get inside your house how he can get inside your mind he will say to you i believe in jesus i believe that there's somebody his name is david somebody his name is solomon somebody his name is adam somebody so someone her name is eve so here you see the muslims how they are desperate since their prophet time this is not something new trying to insert their prophet in our Bible <clears throat> so the whole idea of accepting some of the teaching of the Bible is not because Muhammad he believe in it but it was a way of deception to make you believe that he is coming from the same place now this guy here the one who made this uh, statement about explaining this verse just to show you how Muslims uh, they are really uh, uh, they don't even read because if you go and <coughs> read this uh, this verse in some uh, the verse itself explains itself. Bakka here is bak buka. It's not bakka. This is in English because you cannot pronounce the word. So the word, the valley of buka, the valley of crying. This is not bakka, the one in the Quran. This is not Mecca. The valley of a crying. Why it's called the valley of crying? Because people when they are going in their way in that valley to to attend to the house of Zion, the mountain in Zion, the God of Zion, you know. So they go there and they cry in the front or in their way. And you will notice that this valley is going to be watered by the tears of those who cried. This is why it's called the, the, the Valley of uh, Buka. And it's a place where it's very green and it's always there is rain, especially in the spring. And uh, Mecca is not a place of rain. Like it might uh, actually, you know, Mecca, it has rain, but once every few years sometime. And it's not a green at all, as we know. So, and this is, as you see, this is the mountains of Zion, where they appear before God. This is where the house of God. So here you notice how the Muslims, they try to mix things up and say, okay, this is Bakka and this is the house of God, but this is the mountain of Zion. Is the, is the, is the, is the Kaaba in the top of the mountain of Zion? Or it is in the mountain of Zion? That would be funny. Same time he would say to you, uh, Selah here, Selah. It says Selah. They say to you, Selah has exist next to uh, to Mecca. That's false. The one in in Mecca is different name, but this is in English, you know, and uh, it it sound different. Like you know, when I say Yeshua in Arabic, you cannot type that in English. When I say Yeshua in Hebrew, you cannot type that in English. So Selah is nothing but a musical, uh, let us say, comma. Uh, like you know Muslims when they say uh, Muhammad is a prophet they say takbir the Jews they have a music they are not uh, uh, barbaric uh, uh, like uh, they have their own civil way of worshipping God so Selah is like a music they play when they are worshipping God so this is what Selah Selah is not a word really mean uh, anything except music play like an instrument so here you see the, the Muslims, how they are so desperate to trying to find Mecca, find Muhammad in the, in, in the Bible. But they cannot even answer us about their book. I mean, they do not know 
what their book is about like if I ask a Muslim okay ja Jacob what Jacob mean if we go in the Quran right now and we ask a Muslim okay here we go this is your Quran his name is Yaqub who is Yaqub they will say to you is a son of uh, Abraham okay what Yaqub mean they don't know what Isaac mean they don't know what Abraham mean they do not know why because those are stolen names and stolen figure from a books which is not their own and then we find that the Quran suddenly speak about a person his name is Israel and if we ask the Muslims okay who is Israel they don't know there's not a single place in the Quran mentioning what is and who is Israel the Quran as usual is a book uh, uh, which not a book really it's like a collection of uh, 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 cut off like somebody he cut off pages from a book and he put them together if we ask a Muslim okay the name of the name Israel appear in the Quran but who is Israel the children of Israel children of Israel okay who is Israel in order for the Muslims to tell you who is Israel they have to go to the Torah and read from there and they will say oh this is Jacob okay how what happened how his name became Israel you will see someone like the that who claimed to be a sheikh making fun of the story of Jacob wrestling with God or with the angel of God but by accepting the name you accepted the story you idiot and I'm talking about the that here so how you make fun of the story but because they do not know what Israel mean so they make fun of the story, but the Quran accepting the story by accepting that the name of Jacob changed into Israel. Do you see how silly this religion is? Do you notice with me? They make fun of the story of Jacob wrestling, but yet you call him Israel. Okay, can anyone take and explain to us how Jacob became uh, Israel? How the transformation of the name happened? They don't know. Because this is a cult. And the cult stole information from other books and they insert them in their books yet because they are ignorant they make fun of your story in the Bible but they agree with it and the proof the word Israel ask any Muslim now who they are in the chat what does Israel mean they don't know they have no idea but anyway today we would not we don't want to change our topic we want to talk about Christ in Islam Christ in Islam first of all Islam as usual caught everything wrong Shalom alaikum. Yeah, this is a Jewish greeting. Even this one Muhammad he started from the Jews and by the way a good you remind me of Shalom or Salam you see when Muhammad first time an angel came to him and you can read the story in all Islamic source you will not find this angel saying one word about Shalom or Salam then we need to ask ourselves how the greeting of Islam came to existence and why the angel who came first time to Muhammad never mentioned that word If this is the greed of Islam so from the beginning you see the story is silly and funny Muhammad after he moved and he lived between the Jews he starts saying what the Jews says Shalom alaikum if you go to Jerusalem now you will see and they say exactly the same words exactly this is a pure Jewish greeting when the angel came to Mary in the Bible he said to her Shalom into you Mary Salamu alaikum Mary so this is a Jewish a Christian greeting is not Islamic Muhammad he hijack it and the Muslim hijack it and now they say this is Islamic but the fact is not and if there is any Muslim can explain to us why the angel when he came to Muhammad did not say Shalom Alaikum Muhammad uh, please feel free actually as you see the angel he was squeezing Muhammad violently and the first word he said to him read he did not say Shalom Alaikum which is very weird now if we go in the Quran 
going back again to our topic if we ask any Muslim the Quran says Isa all those verses in the Quran say Isa okay who what Isa mean may them know Isa is the son of Mary or Maryam okay why he is the son of Maryam Isa is sponsored by the Holy Spirit who is the Holy Spirit Muslims in order to find out who is the Holy Spirit they have to go to stories of Muhammad which is not even granted by them most of Muslims they play the game of hadith is fabricated etc which mean at the end of the day even their resource according to Muslims there is nothing in Arabic it's called Isa Isa is not an Arabic word that's for sure Muhammad he got a wrong name from a wrong people and we do not know really for real what he meant by this Isa and not even a single book Christian book mentioned the word Isa not a single Christian book mentioned the word Isa but here we have more important question about what is the name of Isa here you see the Muslim they translate as Jesus but the fact the word Yeshua or Yeshua Yeshua in Arabic and Yeshua in Hebrew not mentioned once in the Quran so this is a fabrication or let us say it's a fabricated translation the same as some Christian who translated the, the Bible into Arabic and they use the word Allah in the translation that is a fabrication too so translation can be full of fabrication the same as some who translated the Bible and used the word Allah with, but in fact this is not Christianity and Allah has nothing to do with Christianity and after 1400 years of occupation the Arabic Christians forced to use the word Allah and now it became part of their let us say the uh, daily life uh, talking uh, if you go to all Islamic countries where Christianity Christians are a minority <coughs> you will see all of them they use the word Allah <coughs> why because simply they are under the control of Muslims however when the Muslims they notice that using the word Allah is not for their benefit they will forbid you from using it as what happened in Malaysia in Malaysia they made a court the court order that no Christian should use the word Allah in a church because that is the name of the God of the Muslims and I agree with the court actually they should not use it and any Christian who used the word Allah he should refrain from using it for this is a pagan word and have nothing to do with us so I agree 100% with the court of Malaysia which is saying uh, uh, Allah is a name of the God of Islam and have nothing to do with the Christians and actually you can search for that in Google where the court order that so no Christian in that country use it but why in that country they use it I mean why the Muslims in that country they were upset from Christian using that word because they notice a lot of Muslims converting out of Islam so they said themselves oh, maybe the missionaries because they are using the word Allah when they speak to the Muslims make the Muslims easy transaction from the cult of Islam to Christianity and as again as I say it's wrong to use the word Allah for this is a pagan name and it's not the word mean God it's a name of a God which is a pagan God exists before Islam all right now you see there is some some Muslim they keep saying to me you are a liar liar but they cannot prove me wrong and here we go I'm going to open my Skype if any Muslim would like to prove me as a liar is that a good deal so now let us ask the Muslim the first question why Jesus is the only one he is the son of a woman but he have no father who is the Muslim would like to call me let me let me open my Skype why Jesus is the only human being is born born yet he has no father what is the wisdom if we say Allah is God as Muslims they claim okay what is the wisdom behind that what is the purpose God don't do things without purpose everything you do has a purpose so what is the purpose
Uh, I see. I see that uh, uh, Faris he is texting me. Maybe Faris is online. Actually, he's online. Let us see if Faris can help us. Let us call Faris. He's texting me. Faris is busy oh, this... Hey, Faris. Oh, how how are you? I know, see, Christopher. <laughs> how, are you? how are you, Faris? Doing great, doesn't matter. You really was having conversation with those guy. You just interrupt. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, okay. So, you know, Faris, I see you are texting me, etc. And as long as you said uh, that uh, you speak very good Arabic, why Jesus, you know, uh, he is, That's... why his name is Isa? Where is the name Isa coming from? Okay, well, did you finish? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, now my Christian brothers, you see all of you, have you observed? You see, the way you do it, now I'll have to say, if you want to close it, it's up to you, I have no problem, really. You see, at the beginning, like, you have seen my message, didn't you? you if you want to close it, it's up to you, because I was really co having conversation with other guys, Christian, they were. Uh, focus with you me, said Faris, fo focus, was, focus with me, focus with me, Faris, stop. No, stop. there's no need. Breathe, see, if you breathe, don't, breathe, breathe. If you breathe. don't, I have no problem. Okay. You're just calling and asking questions. All right. You never answer any questions. What, is, is, the, what right. is the question? What is the question you have? You see, I did, I did you on one of the, this one. Hmm. Just make one specific subject, also multi subject, I just, and make a debate. I, I, okay, debate. I have a subject right now. We I'm are talking. Huh? You dare to divert the fourth kid, Faris? I have no problem, really. You, you call yourself the kid, Faris, correct? The kid, the fluffy kid, Faris. Okay. You dare that. So you are a fluffy and you are a kid. Okay, well, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, I'm a okay, I accept. I, a... I accept the challenge, the fluffy kid. Who give What? What a Isa mean? What a Isa? What a Isa mean? No, 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 no. You lead no, no. to Isa Ali Salam, and I don't know what are you. you. You make a subject. You make a. I just made a subject. I just made a subject. What a Isa mean? What a Isa mean? You speak Arabic you very well. You speak you Arabic know. very well. You, you claim that you are an Arab like yes. me, but you are not. So I'm asking you, what Isa mean? What Isa mean, my friend? We do not need to scream, etc. You are here. I mean, simple question. What Isa mean? This is my only voice, really. What, is, what Isa mean? What? Why? Okay. What Al Masih mean? Masih means Masaha. Masaha. So Masih uh, means Masaha. What does that mean? Translate, please. Masaha. 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 Okay. What Masaha? Translate, please. What, what, maha, what, ma, what maha mean? What maha mean? He erase, right? He erase. If you don't understand Arabic, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He just said the Messiah, the Messiah. It means the one who erase, erase what? Erase your sin. You see, let me tell you something. What? As soon as you finish, this is my role. You're calling me. Means it's my role. Hmm. So are, you, go ahead, are you going I'll to tell me or you are going to scream? You said. You see, I ask you about Isa. You do not what? answer because you do not know. I ask you about the Messiah right away. You jump to the answer because this is a very simple word. So now you are saying that the word Messiah I mean he erase. He erase what? Once you finish, let me know because you are the I guy am, who's I have finished. Me. I'm I waiting for you to answer. He said the Messiah mean the one who erase. What erase mean? What er he will erase what? Yeah, yeah. You see, I will, uh, as I said it, and I will say it again. Hmm. If you want to close this, it's up to you because you really you cut my conversation. Hmm. I will say what I want. And I will answer it. If you don't want to accept, it's up to you. Say, okay, what do you is want? That, is that for you? Sure, go ahead. What do you want? I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I will say what I want. Then I will do my answer. If you don't like it, it's up so to you. So what do you really. mean? You will say what do you want? You want to sing for me? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, no, you said no, the Messiah. No, you said no. the Messiah is the one who erased. Okay, everybody heard you. You said, Yamhi, Maha. Okay. He erased, he erased what? What the Messiah he erased? Yeah, I will be honest with you. You see, I'm a very fluffy kid and hmm. I'm honest. Hmm. This is really, I'll, I'll be honest with I don't know. Hmm. I'm honest on okay, that. Okay, be my witness, be. guys. He knew what the name means, but you do not know he do what. So it, his name is he erase, but he erase what? We don't know. I mean, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? You are a, you are a man of 40, 50 years old, but you do not know what, what the Messiah erased. You just told me the Messiah means he erased. Okay, he erased what? You don't know your Bible, really. You're really? just making calls. Okay. You want uh, uh, no, you, you see, you see, you can say whatever you want. You just prove to me that you know nothing. You do not know. You do not know what Isa means. You do not. You said the mess, the Messiah is the one who erase. I ask you, who erase what? He erase what? You do not know. You, you said, yet you to be honest. I, okay, okay. Forget about the Messiah name and the Isa. Why Jesus have no father? 
No problem. You, whatever why, you, I know why Jesus uh, Faris? Why Sheikh Sheikh Faris? Here we go. I I, I, I give you a rank. I gave you a rank. Imam Faris. Why Jesus have no father? As as I said it, you see, as I said it, it's up to you, Christians. Really, hmm. I, I'm I I have no problem to speak with anyone. Okay. This guy uh, are you, just are you going question, to answer? Question, 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 question. Well, we, this but is no a answer. conversation. We're no. trying to learn about Isa in Islam. Okay, you say call him Isa. We do not know what the name. You call him Messiah. You said he is the one who erased, which means he erased sin. And if he is, if he is the one who erased sin, that means he is God. Thank you very much. Now, let us let us go to the the, the third stage. Jesus, the son of Mary, who is his father? Who is the father of Jesus, the son of Mary? I should cut it. You see the uh, Isa. I will be. You see you. Very funny, really. Very mm -hmm. funny. I will say this one, and if you want to close it, close it. But I will answer that question about who is the father of Isa, alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. My Christian brothers just here. This guy just make himself in a big trouble. He claims he knows the Arabic. Hmm. It is you see, if you if the guy don't know the classical Arabic, hmm. <coughs> yeah, Faris of Saluk. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I thought you maybe close it. That's why this guy is claiming to know the classical Arabic. You see, he but uh, unfortunately, okay. when I challenge him, you see, on the before maybe one month. I said to him, let you and me speak for five minutes. Okay. Discussion in the and I did. You did not. I, I did. It's recorded. Yeah, I, I did. Okay, again. Okay. Speak to me in the classical. Just... Speak to me in classical <laughs> Arabic. I, I will start. I will start speaking to you in classical Arabic. No, no, wait. Before you start, I know what you are going to do. I know what you are going to do. Just read what? from one book. What? Are you are you afraid? Are you you, you just said you want to uh, speak to me in Arabic, in classical Arabic? And let us make a challenge right now. It's recorded. People will laugh at you. You do not know how to speak classical Arabic. I will start. You want me to start or you start? <laughs> this is really funny, really. It's so funny, really. You see, I will say, then don't cut. Yeah, really. You laugh at I'm laughing at you, really. You so, Faris, uh, you keep changing topic. What do you want now? Okay. Do you want to answer or you want to talk about Arabic? Choose one. No, no problem. You see, you okay. are the guy. So let us go back. If it, as long as you don't want to talk about Arabic, you tell me in Arabic, we, we do it. No problem. You don't want to. So now, Jesus is the son of Mary. Who is his father? Yeah, Jesus. I, 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 like I said, just I will make one point. I will answer it. But you keep interrupting because you know you're embarrassed. <coughs> oh, God, really, what you <laughs> made me really need to drink water later on. No problem. Camel urine, my friend. Why, why, why water? You're a Muslim. Didn't the Prophet order you to drink camel, camel urine? You want to? If you want salt, like he said, I'm not, I will I'm not insulting. I'm not insulting. I will show you the hadith right now. Is it true that the prophet he ordered to drink camel urine? Yes or no? Is that a sunnah? I will answer it. Hmm. I will answer it. Okay. So, so why you are saying you are insulting? I did not insult. I just said to you what your prophet will order Muslims to do. So why don't you give me the time? Okay. This, even so now, okay. Let, let us go back to zero. Okay. My Jesus, Lord. the son of Mary, who is the father of Jesus. I will answer that as soon you just please be quiet for three minutes. Can All you right. do that? Here we go. Quiet. I, will, I will go. I will take a nap. Huh? I will you take will a quiet nap. For three minutes. Sure. I will take a nap. Go ahead. Who is Jesus, the son of Mary? Who is his father? And I would say, I would, because the answer of about Isa Ali Salam is just one minute. <coughs> oh, God, really. It's just for <laughs> 10, 10 seconds. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, you're laughing at relax, laughing relax, at Faris, relax, 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 relax. Come your on, wives man. will not hear this yeah. video. Your wives will not know about you know, it. What happened in Vegas is stay in Vegas. Okay, now tell me, my friend. So now, yeah, what, yeah. Jesus, the son yeah. of Mary, who is his father? Yeah, you already repeated this question hundred times. I said I will answer it. Just mm. please be quiet for three minutes. Go ahead. Simple stuff. Appreciate it because the answer is just ten seconds, my my brothers. And lovely uh, Christians, you see the guy. You see, up to you. You want to close it? If you interrupt, there is, I will restart my my time. Three minutes. The answer is just ten seconds. The guy. You see, he said about the classical Arabic. He is afraid right now because he knows it's going to be busted. This is really, really, very okay, funny. Let us talk Arabic, then. Let us talk Arabic. Yes, what's wrong with you? You want to change me in Arabic? You go start. Go ahead. Start. Go ahead. Stop. Stop repeating yourself. You're 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 a kid. Start it. Go ahead. Here we go. I accept I the challenge in Arabic. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Do, do it now. We did it before. I spank you and we will do it again. I challenge you right now. I accept the challenge to speak in Arabic. Go ahead. For now, wasting the time. I know you're right. You're you, why you keep time. talking about the Arabic then if you don't want to do it? Are you, are you, are you, uh, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy or what? You keep saying you want to challenge me in Arabic and I'm not accepting. I said, no, I accept. Here we go. We'll do it now. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead now. Go ahead now. I, I know. 
see the Christians. Mm. If you don't really, if you did it, I will restart it and I will close it. Faris al Farish. Faris on your soul, Luke. Yeah, 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 whatever. Ila Samai, Ila Al Arbi Akhaduk. Wajalu mini Nabi Yaka, Wahidun Murduk. Allah, I swear to God, Christians are speeding. What? But no problem, go ahead. What? Go ahead. I swear to God, what? Go ahead. You see, no, you want to complete? You see the Christians? Hmm. He's a guy, he's, I said, three minutes, be quiet. Three minutes. So, but he come we're going to start uh, the Arabic uh, conversation. So, how would you need to start? Quiet. I said, I will, st I will answer to your question. So okay, please so you don't want to talk about Arabic? No problem. Now, answer me. Jesus, the son of Mary, who is his father? Yeah. Well, really, there's a, you see, there's ex Muslims who's lying. Hmm. I have no problem. You want to close it? You close it. You see, I know I went on this one. You already lost, but I said three minutes. Be quiet. If you cannot, it's up to you. Quiet, be quiet. Are you sure? Are you going to answer? Good, yeah. Good boy. Appreciate it. You see, Christians, he's now, right now, wasting the time, searching for something in his computer because no one can see his face. I, have, I don't even care about his face. He said about the classical Arabic. Okay, show us your face. Show us your face, Faris. Uh, no, no, no. I'm very uh, handsome. You cannot see my face. Okay, really. so why you are if talking, you do, about, why no you are talking about my face now? What does this have to do with the topic? No problem, because you see, you're the guy who just want to be in the spotlight, not me. Hmm. But if you're I, I, I want to be in the spotlight, I will put my face in the screen. Now answer, Jesus, the son of Mary, who is his father? Soon as you do not interrupt. Send me an adult, please. Let us ask another Muslim. They don't know. None of them know. The Messiah, what the Messiah mean? And this guy is, you know, maybe is the, the internet is bad. Let's try again. As you see. Okay, let us find another Muslim. You see, they text me, they want to debate me supposedly, but they don't answer. Okay. So, who was the Muslim want to tell us? Jesus, the son of Mary, who is his father? And if you say he have no father, why he don't have a father? Any Muslim knows why? Additional to the fluffy Faris. All right, he is calling. That's good. Hello. Hello. Hey, Kasim, how are you? Yeah, I'm alright. All right, you are live on air, and people they hear you. Well, why Jesus have no father, uh, Kasim? Uh, it was a miracle. Okay, what the point to prove this? to the people to prove to, because uh, to prove to the people that he's a prophet mm -hmm. so why your god did not do that to muhammad to prove he's a prophet um allah gave different different miracles to different people different prophets mm -hmm. but this is the only miracle was given to one person in the whole universe his name is isa correct if you see if you see like for example musa islam he could split the sea i, I haven't read any of the prophet did the same thing no. have you read any of the prophet did the same no, thing musa did not split the sea it was god who split the sea musa islam he hit the the stuff yeah, and this is god this is god sea. musa has done, did not split the seas this is god but, but who, who's but who's got the stuff it's musa islam who's got the stuff he's mm. the one who so the, so, uh, so, so, it, so the staff of musa have a magical power Allah's poor, um Okay, so it's God. It's Allah so, it. so you yeah, agree then? So then you agree. Okay. Now I'm asking you, why you say Jesus, uh, Allah, He made Him have no father to prove that He is a prophet? Did that work? Hmm? Did that work? You said the, pro the the point is to make people believe that Jesus is a prophet. Allah make Him have no father. Correct? Yeah. Okay. But the result is the Christian now believe He is God. So Allah was not a smart God because he did something will make the Christian think he is God not he's a prophet yeah that, that's that's the fault of the Christian it's not the fault of uh, right. Allah because, right. Allah because if Allah did not give Jesus all those things as you claim 
because you claim that Allah is the one who made Jesus have no father. Allah is the one who made Jesus create from the mud a bird. Allah is the made Jesus make the blind see. Allah, he made, even the Messiah, we ask your friend what the Messiah mean. What Messiah mean? Do you know? Uh, Masih means anointed, so like uh, it's, it, the root word is uh, Masaha, which is basically wiping. Wipe. We wipe what? Wipe your sin? No, it's, it's not sin. It's um, I, I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's uh, some oil or something. Uh, so why why he wipe? Do you do you Muslim practice wiping oil? Is that Islamic? Oil on your head? Yeah. This is Islamic. Sunnah, Can you show me reference? It's, did your, prophet, uh, sunnah. did your prophet he wipe his head with oil? From what I know, yeah. Where? I've read it, I've, I've read it in a sunnah book uh, where, where it says where, uh, where, where the prophet he was. so your prophet that's mean your prophet is anointed too. His name is a messiah too. Is your prophet his name is messiah? Because if the one who do oil in his forehead, he is messiah. That's mean all of us were messiah. I am a Christian. I so I am messiah now. Is that the what you are saying? That's mean Moses was Messiah. No, no, no. Because you are no, saying, no, it's not the right. because you are saying whoever yes, whoever right. do that, they call him Messiah. So, so why he is the only one called Messiah? Yeah, there's deeper meaning to it. I, I have also so, did it. So you are not you are not talking with knowledge. You are talking. You are just guessing as the rest of the Muslims. So the other guy he says to us, Faris, he said it means he erased. You said to us he wipe. Okay, erase or wipe. It's at the end. Of the, it's the same. So he erased what? He erased sin. How the Messiah can erase our sin? No, he doesn't. He doesn't raise sin because he is obviously um, he's not God. So if he, but his name now proved to us that he's God because why he gave him? Okay, Muhammad uh, is is Muhammad is the real name of Muhammad or this is a given name? It's his real name. Real name. So why Allah did not call Muhammad the Messiah? Give him additional name like Jesus. His name is Yeshua. Yeshua. Muhammad he got the wrong name. He called him Isa. Okay, why Allah did not call Muhammad the Messiah? Because it was a special title for Isa. So. Okay, thank you. So this is a very, very special title for Isa. Why? Allah, you, you see, your de your deduction is not going to work because Allah is very clear that He is not the Son of God. He is not. Doesn't he's matter, not. Doesn't you matter. Know. Doesn't matter. You see, this is not oh, the question. This. No, this is not the topic. I'm trying to find out. I'm, I'm just saying your, your deduction will fail. Okay, but you know, no, my, no, it's not does not fail. Okay, why Muhammad was not sponsored by the Holy Spirit? He was, he's what? Said again, he was not supported by the Holy Spirit. He, um, what, what do you mean, supported in what way? The Quran says, the Messiah is the only one. He is supported by the Holy Spirit. Does it say uh, only one? Show me the other one. Who? Go ahead. Um, Jibril, he came. He came down, and the angels came down in the battle of Badr. Uh, he supported him in that way. Mm -hmm. There's uh, many ways. That's uh, mean Jibril, the Quran. Uh, That's mean the Quran. He missed Muhammad because where Allah he said in a single sentence or single phrase in the Quran that Allah he supported Muhammad by the Holy Spirit. Does that even need to be said? Well, if it does not need to be said, so why he said that about Jesus? As you said, it's not needed. So why Allah he says that about Jesus, but he didn't want to say it about the from one? That's up to Allah, isn't it? You can say you see, I agree with to. you. Does it have to be uh, said? That's a good. Uh, I, I, you, I mean, we can't teach. Uh, you can't say, okay, Allah, you. I no, no, no. Uh, 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 she, when we speak about God, yeah, you respect your God, please. I respect my God. When we speak about God, God, He don't speak of, uh, in vain. He don't speak uh, silly stuff, right? So He speak for a purpose. What is the purpose of saying that only the Messiah is the one who is sponsored by the Holy Spirit? As you see, why we have other verses? Yeah, we have other verses. Um, I can't recall them, but it's, it mentions about Jibril. Um, no way, um, not a single verse saying that Jibril is the Holy Spirit in the Quran. This is the most it's guess. understood. It's, it's, it's understood. Um, yeah, it's, it's understood. That yeah, this is your guessing. Degree. This is your guessing. You know, this is your guessing. The Muslims who came th 500 years after Muhammad, they try to figure out who is the Holy Spirit, and then they come with the idea that Muhammad said in the hadith that this is Jibreel. But that cannot be. Okay, we can prove it easy. Do you want me to prove it to you that Jibreel he cannot be the Holy Spirit? You what, can discuss what, that what some other time. Is, uh, is, uh, is Jibreel holy? 
Yeah, of course. So why Allah ordered Jibreel and the angels to bow down to Adam? Um, it was uh, it was in in it was a form of uh, uh, respect. So the holy respect the sinner. So yeah, Adam was wasn't a sinner if he, um, yeah, he wasn't a sinner. What? In respect, he, he wasn't a sinner. What I think I discussed this with you last what, time. what do you want? He was not a sinner. Did Adam commit sin? No. So basically, he wasn't a sinner. Um, but okay. one minute. Did Allah accuse the angels to be a bunch of liars in the Quran? No, it doesn't say liars. Okay. It says uh, if you are truthful. Um, Thank you. That if you are mean, truthful, that's, that's mean they are not. That's mean they are not truthful. In quantum sadiqin, which means they are not sadiqin. If you are truthful, huh? tell me those things. So you are not truthful. This is what it says. So the Quran says that all the angels of Allah are not truthful. So how we can call Jibreel the Holy Spirit? Holy mean never commit sin. Holy mean pure. Holy mean never disobey God. Holy mean God too. So how we can say that Jibreel is a truthful if the Quran saying he is not? The the Quran does say it's not. It says if you are truthful. Yes, if you are truthful. If I say to you, if you are telling the truth, read this or etc. That's mean I'm accusing you. Come on, Qasim. Let's be honest here. If I say to you, if you are a truthful, uh, prove me wrong. That's mean I'm accusing you not to be truthful, which means I'm accusing you to be a liar, literally. That's not an accus accusation, but... Um, it's not an I accusation. You, not yeah. only an accusation, actually. Allah is confirming it. It's not an accusation because after that, he gets them busted. He says to them, okay, okay. Uh, and then right away, they get scared. They say, oh, Allah, uh, okay, you know what? Uh, we have no knowledge except what you told us. So he told them you have no truth. And then he want to continue and he gave them a funny quiz. He taught Adam all the names and he told them again, well, tell me the names of those things, right? This is what happened. So he wanted to prove to them that they are a bunch of liars. He told them, okay, if you are telling the truth, then tell me the names. I mean, the the angels first started off uh, saying that why why are you create creating a creation where uh, they're gonna basically cause corruption, and so Allah wanted to explain to them, um, you know, the, the reason the the reason behind it, and uh, hmm. and uh, you know, Allah wanted to um, show them like this creation that is totally different from the matter, previous creation. Matter. He said to them, they accuse Adam of doing corruption, do mischiefment. And actually the angels were right Allah was wrong because yes Adam he did and he was kicked out of heaven and Allah he didn't agree with them that Adam will do mischief man so Allah he said to them you are not being truthful you are a bunch of liars so how no, Jibreel, he, how Jibreel is the Holy Spirit it's understood because um, uh, from the hadith and also it says uh, the ruh was uh, who came in a form of a man mm. okay here we, we go to different topic now so you agree Muslims that a ruh can come in a form of a man yes uh, yeah 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 the angel yeah okay how a ruh can come in a form of a man is is ruh is a physical being um the ruh is um yeah yeah you can call it physical Okay, so the ruh guys is a physical. So how you call it ruh? Uh, it's a spirit. I never heard of a spirit, but it's physical. Uh, one minute, I'm just gonna get my headphones. Hmm. Um, these headphones are not good. Okay. I think with the new headphone, you will get better answers. Okay, so now. The ruh, you hear me, uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now the ruh, you said it's a physical form, correct? The ruh, from from what I know, um, uh, it's a physical. Hmm. That's weird because you are saying the spirit is physical. I never heard of this before. How you call it spirit? Yet it's physical. So why you call it spirit? 
so uh, every every um, every creation is physical, isn't it? Some, uh, some sort of physical. every creation like is the, physical. So is Allah is physical? Allah is not a, a creation; He is a creator. But is He a physical? Um, yes. Allah is a physical. Okay. He have hands. He have foot. He have five fingers, right? No, no. So, uh, when Allah talks about hands and all this, uh, this is all. Um, we would interpret it accordingly. You know. That's false, awesome, my friend. Like you can go right now to YouTube and you will see tons of Islamic scholars explain to you that yes, Allah have a foot. Allah have a hand, including Zakir Naik. So why you are saying that? Yeah, you're a prophet. No, the, what, the Salafi? what Salafi? What about your prophet? Was your prophet a Salafi, or he was a, a Shia? Uh, no, he he's always the prophet. Okay, so did your prophet say that Allah have a foot and he will put his foot in the fire? Yeah, this can mean um, it, it, this could be a, a metaphorical sense. Uh, where do you have Allah a proof that this was metaphorical, or this is your guess? So again. This no. This is based on the principle of the Quran. What principle? Where that the Quran says Allah have hands. The the usul of the Quran is that there's nothing like unto Allah. So, so what? any so what? Uh, so any, what? Okay, nothing like Allah, Allah, but that one that changed. And my friend, according to science, nothing like me too. According to science, hmm? uh, according to science, nothing like me. Nothing like me. According to science, every every flicker of a snow. Nothing like it, which means the snow is not the same as the other flicker of a snow. Does that mean the snow is God? So when you say, and this is a statement you took it from the Old Testament, that nothing like God. But the Quran confirmed that Allah have hands, Allah have a shin, Allah will show his shin, and Allah is, you know, when, when you're a prophet, he said that you are going to see uh, Allah in the judgment day. Did he say he will see a physical shape or he will see three dimension virtual thing? Um, so, so, so the, the hadith, I think you showed me the hadith before, hmm. and he said the, um, the translation was incorrect. He said the form, it'll come in a form, but the translation is incorrect. Um, when I showed it to a scholar, he said it was, uh, he'll come in an appearance, which is his appearance. So it's part. Uh, it's basically uh, Allah who, who will appear, okay. and uh, they won't recognize him. But is um, it, is, but he will show his shin. You're the scholar who told you that. Uh, yeah. So so yeah yeah. He told me that, and then I, I um about the verse. So basically, he said that when Allah uh, will show the shin, uh, and then the reason why people will uh, recognize that Allah is because from the verse in the Quran where Allah tells us that He will. Uh, reveal his shin so that's how people recognize so it's not like we already okay seen hold it. on so now the shin allah would they will see the shin of allah is the shin of allah as physical or not uh no it's not it's not uh physical so it's, what it uh, is how what do you mean it's not uh, so allah uh, the, the whole hadith saying that we will see allah correct are we going to see allah this is the hadith you're a prophet he compare allah to a physical being or physical existence material which is the moon and the sun correct and you said yeah, so like yeah, okay. yeah, all right no example. problem I accept that as an example but that's mean he will see him and how we will recognize Allah he will expose his shin he will uncover his shin yeah right. okay yeah. is that shin is plastic is it uh, real or is what shin what shin mean what uh, you want to say to me shin now is not uh, so you're a scholar he says it is the appearance of Allah are you saying that Allah have an appearance but his appearance is not real it's fake um, just one minute, I'm trying to look for that explanation that I gave hmm. you know but you said to me that you're the scholar he said to you the translation is not accurate and I agree with you, most of Islamic translation is funny. Uh, but as long as you're a scholar, he said, this is about the appearance of Allah. Are you saying that your Muslims believe that Allah have appearance, but his appearance is fake? No, it's not fake. Uh, it's just they never recognize. Um, no, they, because they if you recognize. say it's not a shape, because the appearance simply you know the appearance Muhammad speak of that we will see him the same as we see the moon so is that a fake moon 
let us say we're not saying Allah is the moon now don't take me wrong but I'm saying if somebody says you will see him the same as you see the moon okay talking about who about, about Allah okay that shape whatever it is we will see is that a real image we will see or it is a delusion Allah he made us see something it's not real no when, when we see Allah is gonna be uh, real okay so we uh, will see the real Allah so, correct of course it's okay. not so that image is the image of the real Allah do you agree the uh, yeah the appearance here yeah. okay so the image of the real Allah is a shin no so so Allah is gonna reveal the shin but uh, what did Allah mean by shin um shin is a shin. Like the, my, my, my friend yeah. Arabic is very clear sock and he will say he will cover his his, his shin and the, the whole story is saying about what? Seeing Allah. The, some Muslims, they say to you that the word Saq mean war, etc. This is very funny because here talking about seeing Allah, not seeing a war. What war? It's, 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 it, the, the, the war is over. So here they are talking about, are we going to see Allah in the day of resurrection? Muhammad, he make it simple for them to the point it's going to be so easy. The same you see the moon, the same you see the sun. Correct? And now you confirm to me that the appearance of Allah is the real Allah. Thank you very much. So the appearance of Allah, which is the real Allah, how we will recognize him? By his shin. So, so the, the scholar says here, he says here, um, there's two opinions within the Ahl Sunnah. One is to negate the literal meaning and say it's purely a metaphorical meaning. Mm -hmm. The other opinion is what I mentioned, that the literal meaning what is... What is the term, metaphorical meaning of shin? His glory, glory, or it could the be glory a, of Allah know. is in his shin since when? It, it could, no, it could be anything. Uh, it could mean uh, so. Why he chose the word it, shin? You see, when you say metaphorical, you have to tell me, like, if he say the hand of Allah, I say, okay, maybe he meant the power. But as we know, that power in Arabic have different meaning. Actually, there's a Muslim Sheikh, he explained that in the video on YouTube that those who say that the hand of Allah is power, they are wrong. The open a dictionary I'm just quoting him he said open a dictionary the word hand is a uh, the, the word power is Qudra the word hand is a hand so Allah he said he's have, have a hand what I can say so the Muslim scholars all of them agree that Allah have a physical shape I debated all kind of scholars all of them to the PhD from Bazar University you can go and watch them all agree that yes Allah have a physical being yes he is dr. Nabil Bayakli Imam Malik Sar, Dr. Uh, uh, Ruhi, uh, Al Maududi, or Dudi, uh, uh, Abdul Wadud, sorry, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. All of them, they agree that Allah have a physical being. So now, you want to yeah, come with so, different so, understanding? That will be funny so, because sorry. because we are talking about. You are the one who said to me, remember, Allah appearance yeah, so, is real. Did you say that? Yeah, his appearance is uh, okay. real. As long appear Allah appearance is real, how many appearance Allah has? Um, cancel how what? Um, I can't comment on that. Why not? It's um, it's going into the essence of Allah, so something uh, I can't comment on. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, as long as long you see Allah saying He have appearance. But the hadith says Allah have many appearance and actually the Muslim translation says it clearly the word Surah by the way Surah is not just an appearance the word Surah is a physical appearance Allah have many physical shape and you Muslims is the one who translated as shape not me so Allah he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you saw first time so that's mean Allah have more than one shape correct no, it's not shape. I already said that there is no uh, resemblance with isn't Allah. Isn't it you who said to me? Isn't it you who said to me the appearance of Allah is real? Yeah, so it's going to appear, uh, okay. and that's real. Okay, but this appearance here is not real, as you see, because Allah. If 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 you are saying Allah have one appearance, that's what you said to me, as understood, correct? But based on the hadith of your prophet, Allah have more than one appearance. At least here, there is two. One Muslims will reject, and one the Muslims will accept. Do you agree? Uh, 
So now we so, have. Yeah, so the, so, the yeah. Muslims would, uh, yeah, accept, uh, they would accept it. Uh, they won't accept it as that. Uh, they, they, because they won't, be, they won't be sure or something. Okay, why? Uh, why, then, why? So, but, that's, but this is me, my friend, that your God Allah is not real because He is a transformer. He has many shapes and He is making the Muslims confused to the point the Muslim themselves did not accept the same Allah just because He changed His shape. No, no, it, that's that's not what happens. The the, the reason why they um, accepted the second time is because Allah told us in the Quran that this will occur. That's why. Exactly. Thank you very much, guys. Look how funny. With my respect to Mr. Qasim, he's a very polite. I have to respect him. Qasim, look what you said. You said you Muslims refuse to accept Allah, the first one who come to you in a shape which you don't like, because it said to you. You will do that, but why you refuse him still? If the Quran says to you that Allah will say to you, We will come to you in a shape which you will refuse. Why you refuse it anymore? I mean, you just told me no, that this not, is Allah. It's not shape, it's uh, appearance. I've already said, My friend, so stop it's, saying it's, appearance. No, problem. Allah. no, surah, surah. This is why you're a prophet. He says, Man sawwara surah ata bihi Allah yawm al -qiyama. The one who make uh, uh, like a, a statues or something, Allah will bring him in the day. Of uh, resurrection and he will ask him to blue in it to make it a creature so stop saying this is just an uh, uh, an, uh, an image it is a physical being this is how Allah sawwara Adam sawwarahu kayfa sawwarahu Allah he made an image of Adam as a shape of a mud correct so this is what surah means so they don't speak Arabic Arabic is my first language and the Muslim who translated here they use the word shape which fit perfectly with the meaning so now Allah come to them in a shape and you just said to me you will not accept Allah for the first shape because you've been taught that you will do that but why you will do that anymore now you know that this is the real Allah don't you think that this is a kufr to say to Allah you are not Allah yet you know and the Prophet he says to you that he is going to come to you in a shape other than the one which you know so he told you that this is Allah then you say, okay, this is Allah, but still we will say to him, you are not Allah. Yeah, I'm just checking the hadith. Until uh, Mr. Qasim, he uh, check the hadith, guys. Don't forget to give like and subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. So, Mr. Qasim? Yep. Okay. So now, Allah, he, the Prophet told you that this is the real Allah. And just because he changed his shape, now, you Muslim, you say to him a very insulting word because you say to him, we seek refuge from Allah from you, which means you are accusing him to be shaitan. So, so it says here, it says here, let every nation follow what they used to worship. This is not the problem. And, uh, now. Now. We are talking about the now. Muslims now. We are talking about the Muslims. It doesn't matter. You see, yeah. you are the Muslims who listen to Muhammad. And this hadith is for you Muslims. We seek refuge with Allah from you. Not to seek refuge with Jesus. The Christian, they will say maybe Jesus, right? So they said we seek refuge with Allah from you. This is the Muslims. The Muslims accuse Allah to be shaitan just because he changed his shape. In the hadith, it doesn't. Uh, I can't see it where it says, uh, I seek refuge. It's in the front of you, my friend. Here we go, guys. Isn't it doesn't show? Doesn't show on the screen. It shows that we seek refuge with Allah from you, and they will even yeah, refuse to they, they will refuse to talk to Him. So Allah will be left alone, will be ignored, and the Muslims will kick Him out. They will cast maybe stones at Him, and because they are saying you are Satan, why just because He changed His shape? Is that Maybe this is maybe this is Jesus. Jesus come to you in a shape you don't like, shape of a man, and now you say to him, "You are not our God," just because you have a shape of a man. Is that possible? Yeah, 
I'm not sure. I have to study a bit, uh, this a bit more further. What is the shape Allah here will come? And what happened to the second shape? Now we have Allah have two shape. So do Allah create shape of himself or somebody else he create the shape for him? No, no, it's uh, appearance. I think appearance would be suitable okay, for this. Let us go with your statement just to for the sake of conversation. Appearance. Who is the one who created the appearance for Allah? Allah or someone else? The appearance is part of Allah, so it's basically is Allah. Okay, you just say the appearance is part of Allah, but who is the one who make Allah have many appearance? No one. Is uh, this is Allah? Okay, so Allah have two appearances. Or do we have now two Allah or one Allah? Mm. It, it, no, it, it, let me let me read that. this. So it says the Almighty will come to in, in uh, appearance other than the one which they saw for the first time. And um, you say, I am your Lord, and they will say, You are now our Lord, and none will speak to him but the prophets. Hmm. Um, and then it will be said to them, Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say, The shin, and so Allah will then uncover his shin. Hmm. So, what you will do now? Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one which you uh, saw the first time, and he will come in a second shape. And then Allah will come to them in a shape they know. And they will say, what is the shape you Muslims you know? Did Muhammad see Allah? Did you Muslims see Allah? What What is this story talking about? Isn't it, this is very weird. Yeah, so when, when, when he's talking about Shin, we know that he's talking about the Quran ayat where Allah tells okay. us that he's going to... Thank uh, you very much. So, that, so that the shape you know is the Shin, correct? In, um, it's, it's going to be some sort of revealing of the shin, so then we would recognize it. Okay, but it is an appearance. Allah will appear as a shin, right? There, there's a there, there's one opinion which says um, the shin uh, is literal, but it's uh, we can't uh, imagine it. So it's not like the human shin and all this. So it's it doesn't beyond matter. Our... You see, forget about the human. Yeah. You see, the Muslims they come with a uh, uh, like a guessing. This is very how funny this religion is. Because how they knew that he is not coming in a form of a human? It may be. I mean, are you going to tell Allah what to do? And as long he is going to take a shape, and the shape is rejected, that means this shape is not suitable for Allah. Do you agree? Say it again. Allah will come to you in a shape which you Muslims will reject first time. Is that correct? Um, that's why it seems like from the narration, right. yeah. So that's mean the shape which you will see first time is not as suitable to be a shape of God, and this is why you refuse it. Otherwise, why you refuse the shape of Allah? What's the problem? That's mean Allah <laughs> he did not come, maybe he did not come as something glorious. Maybe he come as a humble man. Yeah, for some reason they didn't recognize him. Um, okay, so yeah, you Muslims. I'm probably, I'm, okay, so what yeah, you are I'm saying to me, Qasim? Look how, how look how dangerous what we learn from you. You Muslims follow God because of his shape, not because who he is. Your God, you Muslims, recognize God just because of a shape, not because he is the real God. And that to prove to us that Islam is nothing but a cult because God no, we is God. We recognize him because of the verse in the Quran where it tells no, us. My friend, hold on. Doesn't matter. When Allah he changed his shape, that's mean he lost his glory to the point you Muslims could not recognize him. That's mean Allah, when he changed his shape, he don't appear like God no more. To the point you Muslims, you say to him, We seek refuge with Allah from you, which means you Muslim, you thought he is nothing but shaitan. So he look evil, he sound evil, he talk evil, and you Muslims reject him. Huh? Uh, okay, why you, why, you, why you say, why it says here in front of us, we seek refuge with Allah from you. The Quran says, when the shaitan, he whisper into you, talk to you, seek refuge by Allah, correct? So seek refuge by Allah from the shaitan, the regime, the Iblis. So now you are seeking refuge. With Allah from Allah accusing Allah to be shaitan. Yeah, I said one narration is this uh, Sahih Bukhari 7439. Hmm. Yeah, this is Sahih Bukhari. 
7439. Let me check the hadith number, no problem. 7673. There's many hadith like this. It's not the only one. All right? So, as you see, you Muslims rejected Allah just for a very simple reason. And you accuse him to be shaitan for a very simple reason too. You don't like his shape. And that's mean that Muslims do not know their God. They follow Shin. If they like the Shin, they approve it. If they don't like the Shin, maybe Allah come to them in a Shin, but the Shin they don't like it. Maybe it, it, is, it is hairy. Maybe it's not uh, good looking. Otherwise, what was the problem for you to reject the Shin of Allah which came to you first time or the shape of Allah or the appearance of Allah, whatever you want to call it? I'll, I'll study this further and I'll get back to you. No problem. Let us go back to zero. Why Jesus is having no father? You said Allah wanted to prove that he is a prophet. But prophet does not, you know, because this is a miracle, nobody can prove. I can say right now, my mom, she gave birth to me when she was a virgin. I'm sure you will laugh, right? So if Jesus says to people that my mother, she gave birth to me, when I was a child, I'm sorry, without a man, then people will laugh at him. And what the point of this? Then we see that uh, the Quran, the Quran says that Jesus spoke in the Creator, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why Muhammad did not speak in the Creator? Neither Moses, neither Adam, neither, uh, I mean, Adam for sure is made from mud, so he was a man already. Well, neither uh, David, neither anyone. Why only Jesus spoke in the Creator? So Allah gave different uh, miracles to the Prophet. Like for example, um, uh, why Prophet Allah Isa gave Islam. all the miracles to Jesus? Nobody have miracles like Jesus. Do you agree? No, each each Prophet had uh, um, amazing miracles that they, no. that they did. No, 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 no. You see, Jesus he controlled the nature in the Bible, all right. But in the Quran, in the Quran, we find that Jesus have miracles nobody have. He have no father. He is not from sexuality and the Quran says and this is the contradiction for the story of Jesus Do you know what does that mean? Um, no Okay, let me show you what does that mean Allah is saying he made every creature after Adam from sexual relationship Chapter 25 verse 54 is Jesus you know, one of the mankind or he is not? Yeah, he's part of the mankind. Okay, um, but, uh, but this is mean the Quran is wrong because he says, and it's he who created the man from water. Water here, by the way, is the sperm. You can go and read the interpretation. Sperm. I mean, it says water, it doesn't say sperm. No, he, no, it says water. The Quran always speak about sperm as water, my friend. This is why chapter One 86, the... verse number 6 and 7, it says, Ma in da fiqh, ma da fiqh, gashin water. So, my friend, the Quran speak about what here? And this is why it's speaking about marriage and lineage. Do you see it? So, and he created the man. Which man? Every man after Adam, because Adam himself was created not from water. Adam was created from mud. Do you agree? It's, it's created from different uh, substances. No, 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 but not from water alone. We cannot say water. It was, uh, water was part of it. No, my friend. Yes, water part of it, but he is not created from water. Correct? If it's part of it, then it was. Okay. Let us go with this. If we go and read the interpretation, do you accept it? The interpretation says sperm, all of them. Not a single interpretation. All of them, and this is why I'm speaking about what? And we made it from marriage, relationship of marriage. You can try to try, try, change the translation. So here is speaking that every human being is a created from the son of Adam, but he is from the water of Adam, the sperm of Adam, by marriage and this is the same verse by the way saying that you can have sex with your daughter if she is not your daughter for marriage you know that right you can you know you can have a relation with your daughter no you can because according to islam a daughter which is not daughter from marriage she is not your daughter do you agree 
is according no. to Islam. No, uh, Qasim, Qasim. It, according it, to Islam. It, it no, 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 no. According to Islam, you, the, the verse in front of it says, you, it says Allah only approve relationship by marriage, which mean a daughter out of marriage is not a daughter. You can open any interpretation you want. This is why in Islam, and you can check right now in Google, prove me wrong if you want, that in Islam, if you have a daughter or a son out of marriage, uh, they cannot inherit your name, and they cannot have a child support, and they cannot be considered your children, for they are sons oh. of adultery. But well, what do they say that? All over the fiqh, go on, open right now. All over no, the fiqh. Saying, okay, let me, okay, okay, okay let me show you. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. And I will give you the the, uh, the web Islamic website and the tafsir, so you can see yourself. Okay. Uh, okay. You uh, haram. Min haram. Okay. Let us see the interpretation, and let us see what you will say. Okay. <clears throat> I will show you in the screen in a second, please. You see, I'm just trying to find you the reference. So, of uh, authentic reference, so you will not say uh, no. we are making things up. All right, let's see here. Okay, we found it. I will put it for you on the screen so everybody will see. What we are talking about this is the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia and this is the seer al qurtubi you can see in the screen and here it says uh, all right so he made that a human from the sperm as a human being i will translate the page in english using google translation and then here it says نسبا وصهرا معنى معنيان يا إيمان كل قربة تكون بين آدميين. The word نسب and صهرا mean relationship kindred between two human. And Ibn al Arabi said, and نسب وعبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع. The نسب is the kindred is is by mixing the water of the man and the water of the uh, the, uh, the female by Sharia, which means according to Allah. And if it is not according to Allah by unlawful, which means illegal sex, it is just a pure creation. It's not a lineage. There's no nasab. So it's not a proof to be a yeah. nasab. And this is why it's not considered enter under his saying. This is why it says it's not forbidden for you. It uh, doesn't go under the verse, chapter 4, where it says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughters because his daughter from adultery, she is not his daughter according to the most accurate opinion of Islam and religion. And if there is no relationship by marriage, then you can have sex with the mother and sex with her daughter. Now I'm going to transform 
this page into English using Google Translation. Google Translation is not truly really good, but eh, what we can do? Better than nothing. We open it in Google Browser. We move it here. And we click in the front of your face, in, in your eyes, in the screen. Translate to Google, translate to English. And again, this is Google Translation is not really too much good. All right? Yeah. Even you see here, the word is sperm is coming like water, being from water spring. This is about what actually is sperm. And then he says, read with me carefully. Uh, creation, he made a human being from the creation of a sperm of a man and made any man, etc., and the, from a rela relationship and marriage, etc. And then he says, uh, about the meaning of, uh, you know, relationship. He says, the, the relation, the meaning of king, uh, kinship between human, uh, two human beings, which means the male and female, that it is, if it is not illegal, it is just a mixing of water between male and, male and female. And this is what is only according to Sharia. So if it's according to Sharia, that is marriage. And if it is according to Sharia, the daughter will be considered your daughter. So here we go, read really carefully. This is the stupid Google translation. Therefore, he did not enter in the stupid translation, uh, 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 which means it did not go under Allah saying, it's forbidden for you, your daughter. Forbidden for you, your daughter, because she is a daughter from adultery. Because she is not your daughter. You see it? And this is the most the most accurate opinion of Islam. So you can have sex with your daughter and the mother of your daughter because both of them, they are not considered as legal for you to be considered a kinship between you and them, which means your daughter is not your daughter. So I prove to you here in this verse two things. That you can have sex with your daughter, daughter in Islam, according to this verse, if she is a daughter not from marriage, daughter from adultery, and with her mother, which means your girlfriend. In the same time, the Quran confirmed that Allah He made every human being after Adam from a sperm of a man. Okay. What about Jesus? We we'll go back to Jesus now. Is Jesus from the sperm of a man? Um, no. Okay. So Jesus is from the mankind, or he is not? Yeah, he's a human, so he's okay, from the mankind. But this is mean the Quran have an error, because it says وَجَعَلْنَا هُنَا سَبَنْ وَسَيْرًا Everybody after Adam is from the sperm of a man. Jesus is from the sperm of who? You said no man. So who is the father of Jesus? No father. And he is not from the sperm of man, so he is not from the son of any man. Correct? Yeah, we said this is probably an exception to the rule. Okay. So Jesus is an exception for all mankind. This is number Adam one exception. Also he is Adam, an exception. No, 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 no. Your prophet is a son of a man, isn't he? Um, who? Your prophet, Muhammad. Everybody is a son of a man. Except for sure Adam yeah. because he's the first man. And that is logical. It's not a miracle there. It says the God, he created a man. So there is no That's way. Yeah, I know it's a miracle to create a man, yes, but there is. It's not a question if you have a father or not, because that would be silly. There's no, uh, you know, there is no women and men have if, sex. If you think about it, was was Adam the son of uh, God then? That was what? Adam had no uh, mother, no father, and uh, but, no, no. You see, my friend, you, you cannot say Adam had no father because this would be silly. How Adam will have a father if he is not born of a woman? That will be silly. I'm saying, Adam, I'm no, saying no, the no. Same, the same no, 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 no. You see, you made the same mistake. It. No, you made the same mistake as your God. Your God, he says, the the similarity between Jesus or Adam yeah. is the same as Jesus. Both of them, Allah, he said to them, be, and he was. But this is absolutely a contradiction in the Quran because Allah never said to Adam, be, and he was. And Allah never said to Adam, be, and he was. So the Quran is a book of contradiction. If I ask you right now, did Allah say to Adam, be and he was, or he made mud, uh, he, he grabbed uh, sand, he grabbed water, he mixed them, he made the mud, and then he fashioned the mud, and after he fashioned the mud, he breathed into the mud. Do you agree? Uh, he did all that, but then he also said, be, so that's where why he, he said, be. Show me, show me, where? 
where in the holy stories of Muhammad saying that he said be actually the Quran yes. says what yes. kind of yes. 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 no it is very saying that they are similar but there's no but the creation of the Quran saying about Adam nowhere says he said be he breathed into him he did not say the word he did not even talk here we go if we go and see the Quran says it clearly how Allah he breathed into Adam right and yeah, after, yeah, I've read already. okay so Allah he breathed into Adam but he did not say be otherwise why he need to breathe why he, he may have said it for be, be for the soul for no 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 soul. if he say be you yeah, see the God of the, 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 the only one who created things by be is the God of the Christians and the Jews he said be light light was Allah never created anything by be and Allah he made Adam from mud in his stages correct yeah he, he okay. did that as well yeah. so uh, be and he was that's mean there's no stages that's it he said be it was that's it so Allah here in the verse proven to us that he is not God because you don't remember how he created Adam how Allah how Allah he made Mary carry a child his name is Isa he breathed right into Mary correct so yeah he put the soul in the okay so okay he breathed the same he did to Adam but he did not say be nowhere he said be read it and here we have a problem Allah he breathed into Mary from his spirit do Allah have a spirit? Um, that is um, what do you call it? Possession. What possession? It says here. So when I have made him and have uh, breathed into him no. of my spirit, so that that's his possession. So when Allah said, "My camel," okay, uh, Allah, it, Allah, he breathed help. into Adam and to uh, and to Mary. Both of them, he breathed into them, and we can say actually in Islam, there is only two human. Your God, he breathed into Adam and Mary. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, look here what happened with us. Here, Allah is saying he breathed from his spirit. What is the spirit he breathed into? What from my spirit? What does that mean? You said position. What does that mean? Spirit is a spirit. Position. Isn't it you who said to me spirit is a physical? Isn't it you who said to me spirit is a physical being? It's physical, yeah. Okay, so Allah He He breathed into Adam something physical. Yeah, of course, the soul is physical, isn't it? What? The soul is physical. Of course. So He would yeah, put yeah. inside him. So now, if we open the chest of somebody, we will find physical meat. It's called a spirit. What do you mean? It's physical. It's not. It's not uh, visually. You can't see visually see. So it. how it's how it's physical, but we cannot grab it. We cannot hold it. It does not hold the space. The, the, the doctors they check all part of a human being, and they did not find anything. It's called spirit as physical. This is weird. So when you say Allah, He sent Jibril, and you call him a spirit, Holy Spirit, and then we find that the spirit is inserted into Mary, inserted into Adam and then you Muslims fail to tell us what is inserted because you are so confused about what the spirit is to the point You think that the spirit is something physical So a uh, meaning of physical is related to the body as opposed to the mind and then second meaning is related to things Perceived through the senses uh, as opposed to the mind uh, Tangible or concrete. That's not the point my friend here the spirit did the spirit give life is that is the spirit what gave life the spirit what said they give life is the spirit which gave life to Adam yeah okay so before the spirit is inserted into Adam Adam was just a mud he's not a human being correct yeah he was lifeless thank you so no he was just a mud not only lifeless he is not even with the skin yet he's just a statue correct uh, what, what I heard was he was just like yeah, he was kind of like a statue kind of thing. No statues um, from mud specifically from mud That's what the Quran is saying. So he made him from mud the verse says that in the front of you Okay, so he's just a mud now and you know if I ask you 
did Allah, did Adam complain to Allah and say to him finish me before the sunset uh, finish me before the sunset yeah no I'm ready okay the, the Quran says what can al insan wa ajula have you ever heard this verse before chapter yeah. 17 verse number uh, okay. man is hasty okay what what is what is the interpretation for this verse do you have an idea the uh, i think he's uh, no i can't remember hmm. well here if we go on let us show you from ibn kathir if you like Ibn Kathir, if you don't like it, we can go to different interpretation. You will see that the Muslims agree. And this is a hadith though, that uh, Adam, when Allah was creating him, he said to Allah, Oh Allah, finish me before the sun said this is what this means, he was ever hasty. So Adam, he was worried that Allah will not finish him before the sun said. And this is a proof to us that the Quran is not the book of God because you agree that Allah says be and he was but as you see there's no be and he was there is a process and the process is so slow so if we go to chapter 17 uh, verse number 11 we will find the following in Ibn Kathir I will put it in the screen and everybody will see with me the interpretation of you Muslims about this verse proving to us again that the Quran cannot be cannot stand the question and it's a fake book so look what happened Allah is creating Adam and Adam now in the process of a creation so Allah he breathed into Adam and this is Ibn Kathir I don't know if you can see it you can see the screen I hope um, so. yeah okay it says and the man was ever hasty so the man al Pharisee and Ibn Abbas said, etc., the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. When his soul was Wait. breathed into him, it entered into his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed and he said, Alhamdulillah, here we go, Adam, he speak Arabic before the Arabic exists. A praise be to Allah. And Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, which is very funny right? because when you say may your Lord because Allah is the one is talking What do you mean may your Lord? Aren't you the Lord? Oh Adam and then when it reached his eyes He opened them like boing and then when it reached his body and limbs He started to star stare at them in wonder He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not so he said oh Lord make it happen before the nights come So Quran is a false book because Allah did not say to Adam be and he was to the point Adam was worried that the sunset is coming and Allah is so slow is, is a process or yeah I know I, yes, that's what I'm saying there's a process I agree there's a process so the Quran saying I said be and he was that's not true nowhere he said be and nowhere who he was you know, as you see, he made mud, he breathed into him, and it took a lot of time. And actually, even your prophet, he says, Allah created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Correct? Say that again. Allah, he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Is that correct? Five days, five days after me. No, no. In a Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. Is that correct? Oh, fr Friday after me. Afternoon, uh, not after me. Friday afternoon. Or a Friday afternoon. Um. Read with me. This is your prophet, and this is Sahih. This is not a uh, 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 as Muslim they you know play games sometimes. Uh, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday, and He created the mountains on Sunday, and He created the trees on Monday, and He created things entirely in labor in Tuesday. And he created the light in Wednesday, and then he caused animal to spread and on th on Thursday, and created Adam after Asr Friday. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So Allah is being so slow to the point Adam was afraid from the sunset, and Allah will not be able to finish him today.
right? That's what your prophet is saying. So here there's many questions about this funny story proven to us again, Muhammad to be a false prophet, because how Adam know there is a sunset anyway? This guy is just in the process of creation. You don't know about sunset. What sunset? How yeah, you, can still, you can still know. Huh? Yeah, you can still know. How you can still know? know. If, I never saw, if I never saw a sunset, I never saw anything yet. I'm just in the process. I'm just like a toy in the hand of God. And now I know there is a sunset. How I know that? There's no sunset yet. I never would yeah, have known uh, Allah must have granted him uh, knowledge. So Allah, He gave him knowledge. Didn't Allah give him knowledge that don't worry, you be happy, I will create you before sunset? So He told him about the sunset, but He told him that I will create you, don't worry. And um, by the way, do you agree with the story here, this hadith, which is Sahih? Hmm? Do you agree with this story? Uh, I agree that He was created on a Friday. Okay, why on Friday? Well, uh, what did you say? Why in Friday? I'm not sure, it's on a Friday. Well, look with me. How many days now we have in this hadith? This is one week creation. Muhammad again proved to us that he's a false prophet because this hadith is saying that Allah created all and everything. From Saturday to Friday, that is seven days, correct? Yeah. Okay, but the Quran says Allah created everything in six days. Uh, what does that again? Allah created everything in six days. He created the world in uh... everything, because in the day number seven, Allah He left Himself up to the throne, correct? Allah he left himself up to the throne in the seventh day in the seventh day he did not do anything and the Quran confirmed all over that it is six days your prophet as all false prophets false men they cannot repeat remember what they said before inna rabbukumullahu alladhi khalaqa samawata wal ard all right, and this is a repair repeated many verses. I mean, all over the Quran. So, Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days, and then He left Himself to the throne. Okay, so why He's saying that Allah created Adam in the day number seven? In the day number seven, Allah was in heaven. And supposedly, the creation is done. That's a that's a bad mistake of your prophet. So he proved to us again, you know, your prophet is just talking. He did not count the words. He did not count the days. Here we go. Saturday created the mountains. By the way, Allah, the first thing he created is the mountains. Sorry, he created the first thing, the, the clay. And then sun, uh, sun, uh, 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 Sunday he created the mountains. Do you agree with your prophet? Um, after I haven't, I haven't studied this actually. No, no, yeah, okay. Either you say I agree with Muhammad, we're talking about Muhammad. I thought you would submit to Muhammad right away. He says, I agree. Do you agree with you, Muhammad, or you don't agree? Is this a Sahih, a sahih narration? Yeah, sure, this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. We can show you Sahih Bukhari. We can show you many sources. This is Sahih. If Sahih Muslim is not Sahih, what is Sahih then? This is Sahih Muslim. Here we go. Hadith number 2789. Yeah, if, if he says, uh, yeah, if he says, okay, he's created, uh, okay, guys, he agree with it. Did you hear, uh, uh, Mr. Qasim? I like talking to this gentleman. He is a polite. He's a nice man. So, Mr. Qasim, he said he agree with his prophet, but this is totally proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Because the Quran says that Allah, He built the sky first. And then, after he finished all the skies and the star, uh, he created the mountains. Let us see what the Quran is saying. 
Read with me, please. What is the first thing Allah created in this chapter, Mr. Qasim? Uh, what's the first thing you created? Mm. In this chapter, chapter 79. Are you harder to create or the heaven that he built? He raised it high there are there and there off and order it. And he made dark and night. So he made now the stars, dark and night. And after that, he spread the earth. And after that, he made the substance and the water and etc. and the grass. And after that, he made the mountains. But the hadith saying that Allah, first he made the clay, second, he made the mountains, and at the end, after he finished the sky, look when the sky, what day, what, what day Allah created the star or the sun, the light? He created the light on Wednesday. And by the way, he did that because he's a fool. He was making fun of the Christian saying, oh, you say that the Bible says God created the sun in Wednesday? So the whole earth was without life, without light? No, in the Bible it says, God said, let be light, and light was. So light created before even the sun is exist. But as you see, the Muslim, they make fun of our Bible, but their prophet was trying to copy, but he had some fabrication. And now you Muslims is the one who believe that the sun created in Wednesday, and actually the light created in Wednesday, which means before that there was no light at all. But look what happened. When your prophet admitted that he is saying, that mountains created right after the clay and then in Monday he created the trees and then after that he created all things in this earth and then in Wednesday he created the stars and then that's mean the light was the stars was at the end before Adam for sure Adam is the last thing but this is totally contradiction for this verse in the Quran where it says the opposite and by the way the Quran itself contradicts the Quran because the Quran says in different verse, chapter 49, that Allah, he created the earth first. And then after that, he created the sky. So it is 180 degree different direction. So I'm, I'm gonna go now, but I will study this, uh, what you mentioned. Uh, I'll get back to you. I'll ask no you problem, scholars. my friend. Thank you for calling me and feel free to call. And let your scholars call me. I don't know why they don't call me. Why you don't ask the scholar who is trying to be your teacher and trying to, you know, because I, I don't think you're, the scholars are scholars who they are talking to you. They are trying to just to shut you up. They don't want you to know the truth. What about you make him call me and you sit, watch, see what your scholar can do and you'll be the judge. If your scholar can talk to me, that would be wonderful. Why, you know, why he don't come and say, hey, I'm going to show you that this guy, Christian Prince, he have no idea what he's talking about. Not only that, I'm going to show you that he's a liar. What do you think? I can ask, yeah, I can ask him. If that would be wonderful, my friend. It. Promise me you will ask him. And not only that, carry my message for him that Christian Prince challenge you respectfully, and I will treat him with respect if he call me, the same as I speak to you. If he dare to call me, and talk about what we spoke about today or anything no problem islam is will you will you set like a time uh, two minutes two minutes each or something like that? no problem i will give you twice more time than me i will make you join us in the conversation and you will be the guy who do the timing if you want but i like i like normal natural conversation like now i mean do you have a do you have a bad conversation now no right i give you time to talk i give me time to talk there's no need for timing like did I stop you? Says shut up, don't go. You know, no, we're talking. I will speak to him with respect. He can speak as much he wish. He can interrupt me too, like because I said something he wanna get me busted with maybe. So why not? Right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll ask. I'll um, I'll um, I'll approach the mufti and uh, ask him. All right. Him. All right. Call the mufti. I will be happy to have him. Do you, what is the name of your mufti? Uh, mufti Zaid. Mufti Zaid. Is he shake? Is he a big shake or just uh, somebody grow a beard? Yeah, he studied in um, South Africa. Hmm. Okay, tell Mif Mufti Zaid, carry my message to him. He is more than welcome to call me and to prove to us we have a, like we have a, almost 1,400 people watching in life. Say to him, Christian Prince, respectfully, challenging you to prove Islam to be true. And uh, he will be my guest and he can prove it in any way he want, any mean he, he can. 
All right? Or, uh, yeah, I'll ask him. Okay, thank you, Qasim, for, for being with us. Thank you very much. Take care. Okay. All right. So as you see, my friends, Muslims are the last one to know what Islam is about. And this religion is nothing but a collection of confusing stories. Muhammad, he cannot be a prophet. He don't even remember what he said yesterday. One verse he says the earth was created before the, uh, the sky. The other verse saying the, the, the opposite. One verse saying that the mountains are created first after the clay and the water was after. And the other verse saying totally the opposite that the sun was created first, the stars, etc. And then after that, Allah, he start working in the ground. So how Allah can be God? He cannot. Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he finished first. Uh, we have a Muslim, I think, calling. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, you can hear me? Yes, I do. Go ahead. You are live on air. So I won't say that. Yes, sir. can you see me or can you just hear me? I don't want to see you, my friend. Don't turn the camera on. <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm making sure one sec. Hmm. Okay, are we going to talk or? Yes, yeah, sir, just give me one sec, sorry. Because it's actually my first time downloading Skype, so. Okay, but I hear you, you can talk. What do you want to say to us? <clears throat> yeah, so um, what was the other guy uh, that you were just talking to? Well, what's his name again? Qasim. He's a Muslim. Are you Qasim. a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Yes, yeah, so I remember you, you were saying something to him about um, the Quran talk from the Bible about Allah created the world in six days. Yeah. Is that what you said? Not me. The Quran says yeah, so the Quran says Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days, correct? Yeah, and you mentioned something about the sun. Could you just reiterate what you said about the sun? You, uh, in the Bible, it says that God supposedly, the Muslim says, uh, they accuse the Bible of saying something not right scientifically wrong according to them that God created the Sun in Wednesday are you there oh, he's calling me again I don't know look like he lost connection are you there yeah sorry about that I think I coughed by accident sorry no about problem that. so so uh, yeah, sir, what you saying? I was saying that uh, you Muslim says how the Bible says that God created the sun in Wednesday. And you believe that this is a mistake. Is it? Well, I can't continue with you uh, as long with this uh, internet. Get a better internet, please. Otherwise, we can't really keep talking this way. Do we have any Muslim have a good internet? No, no, my friend, don't call me. I can't we just keep talking this way and, you know, you have no good internet. Get a good internet and then feel free to call me. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? So look what will happen. Muslims is calling again. Uh, my friend, if your internet is not good... Yeah, you who keeps disconnecting or... Well, your internet is bad, I don't know what to do. Okay, so now do you... So I don't know. Okay, do you agree with the Muslim hey, saying that creating the sun in Wednesday is wrong? So I keep getting disconnected from the call. All right. Do you agree that the sun created in Wednesday is wrong? So I will repeat your question, please. Okay, my friend. Take care. Don't call me again. After all this repeating, say to me, repeat the question again. This is how silly this cult. Muhammad, don't remember what he said yesterday. This is what happened to false leaders. They say something, they can't remember it. Second day, they say something the opposite. They do not know why Christ is a Christ. They do not know why Christ have all those miracles. If the purpose of Jesus having all the miracles which is mentioned in the Quran is to make him a prophet, obviously Allah was not smart. Because as you see, the Christian did not believe in Jesus because of his miracles as a prophet. But his miracles made him to be believed that he is God on earth. How God he create things.
he made mud he breathed into it and he is a living creature whatever the creature is but this is exactly what Jesus did he breathed from his breath from his breath and the mud became a living creature from the breath of Jesus and I breathe into it the Muslim they will say it doesn't say there by the leave of Allah it doesn't matter by the leave of Allah or not you just admit it that Allah by his leave he agreed to the term and conditions to have Jesus as a creator and how Jesus from his breath can give life if he is just a man that's mean that the breath of Jesus is the source of life you see it's not Jesus who fashioned and then Allah he breathed into it it is Jesus who fashioned the likeness of a bird from a clay and it is him who breathed and he said and I breathe into it and it is bird so why Jesus need all those miracles why Allah he gave Jesus a miracle to be creator that make me believe that Jesus is the creator as simple as that that mean Allah have a failure in the purpose of those miracles because don't Allah knew that this is will cause me to believe that Jesus must be creator because he is that's what it says Oh, what you are saying to me by the leave of Allah and by the way there is no proof of it I can say now that Jesus he created the bird from the mud by my leave I can say that too people will laugh at me the Quran saying that Muhammad he was not able to have one miracle from his God and what is the excuse People of former generation did not believe in them, which is a lie. Because as you see, we believe in the miracle of Jesus. We believe that he is a son of a virgin. We believe that he healed people. We believe that he resurrected people from death. So what do you mean? But because Allah is a fake name, Muhammad he used to get authority, he come with this verse that nothing prevented us, and you can change the translation if you don't like it, nothing prevented us from giving you miracle Muhammad except that people don't believe in them but that's false the Jews believe the Christian believe what do you mean and if people will not believe this is an excuse to not to give miracles so why you give all miracles to all the prophets because it's still there's people don't believe until now so this was a false excuse and the, by the way the Muslim they say to us that the Quran is a, is a miracle correct when the Muslims they say the Quran is a miracle how many of you heard Muslims saying the Quran is a miracle how the Quran is a miracle and Allah is saying we refrain from sending miracles the signs here by the way is a miracle bil ayat nothing made us refrain from sending miracles except that people they did not accept them they treat them as false and he mentioned a very funny miracle the she camel which is very funny what she camel a rock he gave she gave birth to a camel <laughs> so here you see that when the Muslim they say the Quran itself is a miracle that is a contradiction the same verse proving to us that Quran is a lie because if the Quran is a miracle how you say we refrain from sending miracle if the Quran itself is a miracle it's like saying to you why I am making barbecue I refrain from doing barbecue and my camera open and you see me doing barbecue but you say but Christian you're doing barbecue right now I say yeah I refrain I just told you I refrain from doing barbecue but you are doing barbecue right now if the Quran itself is a sign and it is a miracle by saying those words you just made a miracle so what do you mean I refrain from sending miracles so look what we have the Muslim they say Jesus was given miracle by God what else oh Jesus the, the Jews could not kill him uh -huh. so look at this Jesus the Muslim Jesus 
He speak in the cradle. He have no father. He can tell you what you had in your houses. He can read your mind. He can see the future. He knew the unseen. And he is holy, as in chapter 19, verse 19. And not only that, he can create from the mud the bird. He can heal any disease. He can heal any illness. He can resurrect people from death. In the top of that, nobody can kill him. Why? Once a Muslim, a smart Muslim, he says to me, well, if Jesus is the son of God, then his father will not let him die in the cross, he getting humiliated. I said, thank you very much. You just proved to me that Jesus is the son of God in Islam. He said, how? I said, you just said, if he is his, the son of his father and his father is God, that's mean he will save him, right? He said, yeah. He said, well, isn't it him who was saved in Islam? That's mean his father saved him. So look here again, another stupidity in the Quran. Allah, he made someone look like Jesus in the cross. So the one who created the Christianity is Allah. If this is true, Allah, he made us believe Jesus was in the cross, but he was not in the cross. Allah, he made us believe that Jesus is the creator, but Allah gave him the creation ability. Allah made, her, made, made us see that Jesus, he can read the unseen, read our mind. He can heal any, any disease. But all of this to make us believe he's a prophet. So he have no beginning because he's not the son of any man. He was the word of God before he was sent down to Mary. That's what the Quran says. وَكَلِمَتَهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمْ He is his word which he sent down to Mary. So what Jesus was before he became a man, he was a word of God. So where he was, he was in heaven. He is the word of God which sent down to mankind. What the Bible says in chapter and book of John, verse number one, in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And then in verse number 14, it says, and the word became a flesh. The Quran confirmed that, that the word of God became a flesh and his name is the Messiah. And then it says, and this word was bestowed on Mary and the spirit proceeding from him. From who? From God. So the Messiah is a spirit proceeding from him, from God. Is Muhammad a spirit proceeding from God? No. Nobody is a proceeding from God. So Jesus the word, Jesus the spirit of God, and Jesus is the messenger of God, which means the man, three in one. This is what the Quran is saying. The funny, the same verse saying, so near Trinity. And by the way, this is Islamic Trinity proving to be wrong. Because if Trinity is wrong, and one cannot be three, and three cannot be one, according to Islamic understanding, not our understanding, because we believe that God is in three person. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. One God, three person. Islam teaching us, say no trinity in the way Islam understands the trinity. So a trinity, according to Islam, is you cannot be one and three in the same time. But you just approved to me that Jesus is one and the three in the same time. He is just a man. He's a messenger. He's born of Mary. And he is the word of God. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. Three in one. This is how silly the cult of Islam. All right. So when when a Muslim he speak to us about something, we find it very funny how they try to present their God and how to explain to us the Messiah. No Muslim can explain the Messiah. And not only that. Muhammad he continued with his story and he claimed that the Messiah is the one who will come in the judgment day as a hakam and What does that mean? Jesus will come as the absolute just justice and judge. Jesus will be the judge at the end of time. 
Okay, all of those things given to Jesus. So what Muhammad even given? Muhammad given women. While Jesus is busy judging mankind, as you see, a just judge. No man can be just, my friend. No man can be just. Only God can be just. The Muslim, the Muhammadan, Muhammad himself confirmed that the Messiah is just and he is the judge. You see, to be judge and just, that's mean you know everything and nobody can hide anything from you. Do we agree? In order to know, and not only that, actually, it's beyond just knowing because you have to come to the right decision, which is perfectly balanced. The penalty fit with the point with, with the with the crime. So to be a just judge, you have to have the aspect of God. You have to know the unseen. Nobody can lie to you because it doesn't matter what you say. I know what happened. In the same time, I can judge perfect judgment. You just confirm that Jesus is God. So they do not know who is God. They do not know who is Jesus. They do not expl cannot explain even the names what they mean. Every Muslim give you different definition for what the Messiah mean, what the Isa mean. They don't know. This is a very pure cult, and we explain it and we prove it to be false every day. We have only seven hundred seventy-four like, and we have the Muslims give us twenty-three dislike. Look like people don't like what we do. I hope you people you subscribe and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish today and we will continue maybe tomorrow and any Muslim who claim to be a sheikh a scholar feel free to call us and you will see you are no match not because you are debating Christian Prince but because if the Lord is with me who could be against me my Lord is the living Messiah, which you Muslims agree he is living right now in heaven while your prophet is in the grave. Your prophet, he lied to you and he said that the graves do not consume the body of a prophet. And then Muhammad, he die and his belly grow. And his skin became a greener and his nails became a green and his fingers shrunk. And then he stink, as the hadith says. So Ibn Abbas said, Bury your friend, he stink the same as all a human stink. He lied to you. He says the earth will not consume the body of prophets. What do you want more proofs? Every single page in the Islamic books proven to us Muhammad to be a false prophet. And every story in Islamic books prove to us that Jesus the Messiah is none like him Remember don't the Muslim they say none like God none like God Well, none like Jesus None like Jesus Right Somebody saying why the Holy Spirit is ignorant about the judgment day. That's because if you're ignorant, because if you read the same chapter, you will see Jesus says that when this and this and this and this and this and this and this happen, this will happen. The judgment will happen, which means Jesus saying to you that judgment day is based in your sin, in your act. As an example, when the story in Sodom and Gomorrah happened, if there is only 10 righteous left in the city, God will not destroy the city. So what makes the city destroyed fast or slow is what the people do. Correct? So we do not believe in a predestiny judgment day and day set. The more we corrupt our world, the more we do crimes, the more we became filthy, the more and the faster we will bring the wrath of God on us. So nobody knows that day because it's you who decided, which means it's our crimes, it's our sin will bring judgment day upon us. Judgment day happen because of sin, remember that, not because we are doing good. If we are not doing sin, there's no judgment day. So because of your silly understanding, because you do not want to read the same page, which explain to you the same page, you decide to take a title, post by somebody says, explain to me. 
Nobody is ignorant except you, my friend. This is your this is your statement. The only one is ignorant is you. All right. Anyway, guys. I think we have uh, enough for today. Don't forget, please, to download the video. My video don't stay there for long. And don't forget to give us a like if you like it. And uh, feel free to download and post it on your website. If you have uh, any uh, page in your YouTube or Facebook, it doesn't matter. You can cut the video pieces, uh, you know, like Muslims calling me, whatever you want. Just please refer to our channel and refer to the origin of the videos. I want to say thank you very much for being here. And this is why we are christians and we are arab in the same time we refuse islam because islam is false and we prove it every day uh, 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 uh hold on let me show you this before we go let me show you this uh, pk are you a muslim pk1 are you a muslim but why did the father know the Holy Spirit was ignorant. What he, can you show me where it says that the Holy Spirit is ignorant? The ignorant is you. The Holy Spirit is within the Messiah. Look what the, even the Quran says. So the Spirit of God, which is within the Messiah, according to the Quran, is a Ruhul Qudus. So when the Messiah says, no one but the Father, Simply, he is not saying that the Holy Spirit is ignorant, for the Holy Spirit is within him. And he said, when this and this and this and this happened, the judgment day will happen. So Jesus the Messiah, he proved to you that he is not ignorant, neither the Holy Spirit, neither the Father. Always, if you answer the Muslims from the Bible, they will, they will play games. Look what the Quran says. This is the Messiah. He was accompanied by the Holy Spirit, which means the Messiah and the Holy Spirit always, they are together. This is your book, not my book. So according to the Quran, when the Messiah he speak, the Holy Spirit speak. Do you see it? And when the Messiah he says, I can tell you the future, the Quran confirmed that, that means he knew the unseen. And when the Muslim they say that the Messiah will be the judge in the judgment day, that means exactly he knew when he's coming back, for he is going to be the one who will do the job. And the verses in the Bible say clearly that the Messiah knew what will bring the judgment day. Because we don't believe in the preset dating for the judgment day, which means God will bring judgment on you based on your sin. But a silly person like you who try to find silly excuse to say, oh, Jesus is ignorant. The Holy Spirit is. And by the way, you know, you need to ask God for forgiveness. I don't know if he will forgive you or not. But maybe because you are a Muslim, you will be forgiven because you are insulting the Holy Spirit. Uh, no, I did not say that. You see, that when Jesus says, not every, not even the Son, when we say what Jesus said about the Son, the Son of a man. So not even the Son knows the hour, but then you, you ignore the rest of the chapters. Why? Because I explained to you, the hour will happen based on our sin. It is you who know is going to be. It's you who decide what will happen. Bring wrath of God on you. Commit more sin. Corrupt your, your earth. And then sin and judgment day will take you down. You know, when somebody, he tried to understand the verse from the Bible, he, he take a verse and he forget the rest of the chapter. The holy chapter saying that Jesus, he knew. And you know what? Do you like to call me life right now? PK, do you have the courage to call me life and I will make you read the chapter and everybody will laugh at you? Do you care? Do you dare to call me right now? Yes, only the father know, but he said I am and the father is one. 
the son of man the son of man you see when when jesus speak about himself uh, he said my father is a greater than me my father is a greater than me because god he humbled himself and he come to us as a man in this earth so when jesus says my father is greater than me he just told you that the messiah is obedient to the father so when we as a christian we speak about god the son god the father that will not change the fact that even jesus says i and the father is one and the one who saw me he saw the father jesus the christ is the visible image of the invisible god this is what the bible says so look what you do you take one statement and you say i'm going to forget about everything jesus said so i can understand that statement that because you are a hypocrite this is what hypocrite people do it's like you know i i say i am a teacher and then you ask me to teach you uh, uh karate but i did not say i am a karate teacher no no you said you are a teacher could you teach me karate oh th this is the only sentence hooked up in his head no my friend i teach people how to spank city people like you this is what teacher mean and i prove it every day but because you have an agenda yeah, you can do your best and you cannot ignore that even your Quran saying that the Messiah is the judge the Messiah is the pure the Messiah is the holy the Messiah is alive the Messiah of the son of no man the Messiah is the perfect person the Messiah is the one who nobody can deceive and the Messiah is the one who will conquer all evil As simple as that anyway guys we have enough for today we will try to be on air again tomorrow and uh, again don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends uh, uh, Khan I give you a chance more than one time to call me and each time you call me you say what is the question so who is the coward guys isn't it this is the guy who called me many time and each time he called I said the question he says what is the question obviously you are a kid trying to play games what is the question sorry what is the question I have a bad connection you call me I think five time and I took your call five time and I answered you and yet you're still saying to me what is the question I think you are Muhammad himself who ignored the question by saying what was the question let your father call me my friend otherwise you are like Abbas who is always a driving and by the way Abbas yesterday before we forget uh, two days ago Abbas he said he is not sure if the angels are a spirit or not only Jibreel he is a spirit I mean have you ever heard of a mad cult like this the followers they are confused to the point they think that there is one angel is a spirit, the rest are not. That is Abbas, Ibn Farnas. He is not sure, and he think that only Jibril is a spirit. The rest of the angels are not. How stupid that is. That means the Muslims, they have no idea what angels mean. And that's mean there's angels have different nature. And if we ask him, okay, what is the angel from? He do not know. And how you know that Jibreel is a spirit? Nowhere it says that. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Jibreel is a spirit. This is how confused this cult. You see, those people even do not know if their God is a spirit or not. Always I ask Muslims, is Allah is a spirit? They say yes, which is absolutely false. The second you say Allah is a spirit is the same second you admitted that Allah is not God for Islam and the spirit are in two different category the God of Islam himself do not know what is a spirit when they ask Muhammad what is a spirit Allah he said to them oh tell them Muhammad only Allah knows what the spirit so he is not a spirit Allah is a physical being so what he is
name for us one of the Christian scholars who give interpretation for the verse you gave me so why you're asking me if you want me to give you an, a scholar I thought you were asking me right secondly name one of the scholars who says you see I, I will answer it from your stupidity name for me one scholar says that the Holy Spirit is ignorant or even Jesus you see how silly you are okay I will give you the same question name for me one scholar he says that Jesus and the Holy Spirit is ignorant I mean this is how silly you are you think you are smart as long as you accept the scholars explaining that verse why you don't accept what the scholar says about that verse that because you are a hypocrite and now because I get you busted you says okay name for me a scholar he says that so now if I show you a scholar are you going to accept you will say no because the scholars will get you busted hypocrite and a kid anyway guys thank you for being here until I see you maybe tomorrow if I can or if I, if I could until then may the Lord bless you if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam feel free to read my books you can find them in Amazon uh, you know we have them in Spanish in German in Swedish uh, in French uh, in many languages you can search in Amazon of your country and you can read my books and if you cannot afford books my friend I have thousands and thousands of videos all of them are for free all of them are for free feel free to read them enjoy watch and love you all Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon again thank you very much take care